Hello everyone, so now we'll see uh, data architecture and master data management that is MDM. So we'll understand certain concepts of MDM and we'll see how it is different than EDA. So uh, there are people who have lots of misconceptions uh, and they assume uh, or they feel that you know EDA is ED, concepts of EDA and concepts of master data management are almost same. Yeah, there are certain similar concepts but there are lots of uh, uh, points which are different in EDA. I mean there are lots of tasks and processes that we perform in EDA which are unique and uh, task and the processes that we perform in MDM are unique. So definitely they are not exactly identical. So in this session you learn about data architecture in terms of introduction, components, enterprise data architecture, technology and then we'll see master data management that is MDM where we'll see what is the difference between MDM and the conventional uh, approach that we have of data warehousing. So let's try to understand what is data architecture. So data architecture comprises of models, policies, rules or standards that govern how data is stored, how data is arranged, how data is integrated, how data is put to use, how, what and how data is collected and what and how data is uh, Analyze, data needs to be analyzed. Data is usually one of the key architecture domains that form the pillars of an enterprise architecture. So this needs to be understood well and then you know start using it in, in various analysis that you are running. So you need to understand the components of data architecture. So we have this something called as MIS which uh, I mean its implementation comes in, in form of decision support systems, business intelligence systems. Uh, various other reporting systems etc. Then comes this aggregation where you store all your data in databases and uh, I mean collect all the data in, in, in various tables that you have prepared in the databases and use it for any kind of analysis that you are running. So there is something called as analytical processing where we perform this dimensional modeling where we identify the right source of the data and where this data needs to be. Uh, stored in the data warehousing or the MDM domain that you are considering. Then you need to consider uh, the transformation of the data, the online analytical processing aspect of the data that is OLAP. Then you need to consider the generation of the data in the form of online transaction processing, how the data was captured and recorded in your current operational databases and how it was then archived and you know put in your data warehouses which is your OLAP data. So, I mean how which were the various sources of the data collection like the ATM machines or the billing at retail outlets or you know various other uh, mechanism of the data capturing and you know storing aspect of the data. And in, this is an integrated view of the enterprise data architecture for data in an enterprise including structured and unstructured data. So this data uh, gets contributed by many sources which are involved so it could be your big data sources. It could be your conventional input channel, it could be the enterprise applications installed in the form of uh, various you know the device, uh, data capturing devices that you have configured. So there are various sources which are contributing to, to this particular data and this data uh, ultimately gets stored in the data warehouse that you are going to use you know for future analysis and reporting. So there are various uh, technologies you know by which we capture the data we uh, which generates the data so you have this vertical apps and then you have this ad media types you have this business intelligence systems you have this analytics and visualization systems you have this data as a service and as you see there are various components and technologies which are contributing to this particular data so these are the various features and components of data architecture so we can uh, understand this in the form of data types and the security required and the storage and retrieval, the modeling uh, techniques and the processing and the integration and the consumption of this data. So in, in terms of data types we have this master data transactions, uh, and analytical data, metadata. Uh, in terms of security it is the database security features that you have implemented and various other app and user access labels that you have given. In terms of storage and retrieval this could be a core RDBMS 
or some SQL repository of the data where you write SQL query to get, get access to the data and to process the data and generate you know meaningful reports. In terms of modeling uh, technique, this could be the predefined relational or the dimensional mod, uh, modeling data. In, in, in terms of processing and integration, you can use some ETL tool which, is, which are data gathering tools where which can connect to various heterogeneous data sources that you have in your environment. They can fetch data, they can cleanse the data and they can load data in data repositories like data marts and data warehouses. So we have various ETL tools like we have the SAS Studio, we have uh, SAS Data Integration Studio, we have Informatica, we have SQL Server Integration Services, we have Oracle Warehouse Builder. These are the tools, data integration tools which will help you uh, integrating all this data into one common repository and you can one can use this data for any kind of analysis. Then in terms of consumption you have this BI and statistical tools and the operational applications which requires the data consumption. Then you have this in another uh, data type you have this reference data and then you have this documents and contents then you have this big data uh, where you have this web logs and sensors data capturing sensors and then you have the social media which is contributing to this data. In, in, in security you have this platform security and then you have this file system based security and then you have file, and, file system and database level security. In terms of uh, storage and retrieval apart from SQL you also have this X query and XML mechanism of uh, data retrieval and storage and then you have this file system and search. You have this distributed file system and no SQL mechanism of big data. Uh, to you know work with the data and use it for your analysis. In terms of modeling this reference data the XML data that you have is flexible and extensible and it supports this ETL and ELT message and uh, in terms of consumption this is system based data uh, which, which is required by your system to generate you know some meaningful reports. So as you see these are the component wise you know features and different data types and security options and storage and retrieval mechanism and then this modeling techniques and processing and integration and the consumption uh, of, of this particular data by various entities. Then we have this master data management. So let's understand what is master data management and what are the unique differences between MDM master data management and data warehousing. So master data management and data warehousing have lot in common but there are some unique features uh, which, which are found in data warehousing and master data management. So they are definitely not one and the same thing though they share some common features but they have some unique uh, characteristics too. So for instance the effort of data transformation and cleansing is very similar, similar to an ETL process in data warehousing. They can use the same ETL tools. So the tools that we uh, described sometimes back like this as data integration studio and then we have this SSIS and then we have this uh, um, Oracle warehouse builder, we have this Informatica. All these are the popular ETL tools that one can use and uh, get access to various heterogeneous sources of the data, fetch the data in your staging area, cleanse the data and then load it in your data repositories like data mart or data warehouses. So they can use the same ETL tools the MDM as well as warehousing. Master data management and data, data warehousing fall into the same project. What is the difference between the two? There are different goals, there are different types of data support, there are different reporting needs and the data uses location. These, these are some uh, key points which makes these two you know, different from each other. So when I say master data management, the main purpose of MDM is to uh, create and maintain a single source of truth for a particular dimension within the organization. Whereas the data warehouse main purpose is uh, of data uh, to analyze data in a multidimensional fashion, to store data in the form of cubes and dimension tables and fact tables and measures, labels, hierarchies. These are the terminologies which are used in data warehousing domain where your most of the data is stored in the form of dimension and fact tables which are parts of the cube and the dimension tables are like you know regular entity based tables and then you have fact tables which have foreign key references and uh, the miserable items stored and then you have some schema you know which is used to arrange these tables in in the form of snowflake or the star you know uh, schema types that we have. So the main purpose of data warehouse is to analyze data in a multidimensional fashion. 
Okay, the second point uh, which differentiates this uh, MDM with data warehouses uh, MDM requires solving the root cause of the inconsistent metadata because master data needs to be propagated back to the source system. Whereas in data warehouse, solving the root cause is not always uh, needed as it may be enough just to have a consistent view of the data. Data warehouse data warehousing level rather than having to ensure consistency at the data source level. In master data management, this is only applied to entities and non-transactional data. Whereas in data warehouse, data warehouse includes data that are both transactional and non-transactional in nature. That is, we have the two major categories of the data that is OLTP and OLAP, where OLTP is your current transactional data and the OLAP is your historical data. The easiest way to think about this is that MDM only affects data that exists in dimension tables and not in the fact tables, whereas data warehousing in a data warehousing environment includes both dimension tables and the fact tables. So you can consider MDM as only data collection in the form of dimension tables, whereas data warehouse uh, segregates the data in the form of uh, dimension tables and the fact tables, where in fact tables you'll have the foreign key references and the measurable items stored. In master data management, uh, the reporting needs are very different, whereas in data warehouse it is important to deliver uh, to end users the proper types of reports using the proper type of reporting tool to facilitate analysis. In case of master data management, it is far more important to be able to provide reports on data governance, data quality and compliance rather than reports based on analytical needs. Whereas in case of data warehouse, this is usually the only uses of the single source of truth for applications that access the data warehouse directly or applications that access systems that source their data straight from the data warehouse. In, in the last point, if you see about master data management, uh, this poses challenges that do not exist in data warehousing environment. Whereas in data warehouse, most of the time the original data sources are not affected. So these were some uh, differences between master data management and data warehouses. So as you see, there are certain features which are common in both of them, but there are certain features which make them unique and they have you know two different or specific goals or purposes to serve thank you very much